Wake your ugly ass up, boy. It's 2020. It's time to get back to these reviews, nigga. Let's get to it. Where am I? What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Tony P, and welcome to a brand new episode of Fresh Drop Friday 2020 edition, episode one, season two, whatever you want to call it. It's the brand new new year i hope everybody had a dope year i hope everybody had a happy holiday i'm so sorry i'm looking like this ew mm. <clears throat> it's been a wild week of uh first week of 2020 but we gonna get straight into it i ain't gonna bore y'all with the talking man we gonna get to these music reviews baby let's go Starting off, we got the brand new project, Time Served by the homie Money Bag Yo. Um, this project is is cool. It's not bad. I don't have a problem with it too much. Other than that, it kind of just sounds like a generic trap project, which leads me to believe that we've kind of reached the precipice of trap music. I might actually do another video about that soon. I do believe we've kind of hit the height, the 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 totality of trap music like i just don't see it going too much further than this as it pertains to this project money bag yo is a solid artist when it comes to this style of music um his his songwriting is actually really solid his um rapping is actually really not bad like i like a lot of southern trap artists don't get a lot of they don't get a lot of love for being lyrically gifted other than like Andre 3000 artists that are in that lane. But when it comes to like trap artists like Moneybag Yo, Yo Gotti, Gucci Man, you know, you, you don't really listen to these guys for the lyrical content per se, right? But when it comes to Moneybag Yo, he's a really solid, you know, rapper. Um, when you listen to him, his flow is pretty solid. His production is consistent. His content, again, does not stray too far from trap music. You know, fucking bitches, getting money, doing drugs, it stays in that realm, but he does it well enough to, to make it entertaining. If the songs are not too long. He doesn't have a lot of features on it, but the features are pretty big, whether it be Little Baby, Future, his ex, I assume, Meg the Stallion, and of course, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a project if the baby wasn't on there. That's real Charlotte shit for you. Foes up. The project as a whole is not bad by any means. Is it original? Not really. Is it something that I'll probably go back to? I can see myself playing a couple songs off here. What those songs would be? I'm not sure. However, I do believe this is a solid project. On first listen, I'm probably going to give this honestly a 3.5. This is a pretty solid project. It's not reinventing the wheel but at least gets the ball rolling gets the car rolling and keeps it moving so um money back yo i'm feeling it time serve let's do it now on not necessarily the flip side but on the other side of that coin we got the new project cupac by quando rondo um i haven't listened to too much quando rondo myself this actually probably would be my first project really getting into him um I've heard good things about it, but listening to this project, I'm personally not impressed. Um, he sounds like a watered down Tory Lanez, um, and that's really it. It's a lot of it's a lot of sing songy, saturated in auto tune um, sh street ballads, I guess you could say. Um, I do appreciate his storytelling and his ability to to uh, to, to rehash and retell his story as he's as he's come up but honestly man i'm just really not impressed by the way he was executed and i i don't see myself listening to too much more quando rondo personally it's not bad it's just again going back into the money bag yo situation it's just not doing anything new i've heard other artists do what quando rondo does better i.e tory lanes nba young boy damn um there's just too many people to name that are doing that same sound but just better, like quality-wise, just a better um, product when it comes to releasing music. Um, and it's and it's long. It's about 18 songs, um, under an hour. But when you start having these like songs going above 12, 13, there's no real variation of content as well as production. It all starts sounding the same, and it does not 
personally for me does not instill me wanting to listen to more like once i've heard the first five songs once you've heard the first five songs you get the idea of what you're going to be getting now does that work for people who are fans of his music it's probably perfect you guys probably want to hear if you if you already have a sense of what you like about Quano rondo you probably will love this but if you're somebody that likes to have a little variety in what they hear this probably wouldn't be the project to listen to I'm going to give this project on first listen. I'm going to get it a 2.75. It's just, it's okay. It is all right. I'm not super crazy about it. I don't see myself listening to it again. But I mean, for a lot of people, I do see the appeal. And I do see why a lot of uh, people would enjoy this. Uh, it wouldn't be for me personally. Rolling right along. I'm excited for this one. We got the brand new EP from my, one of my favorite artists. I got to say one of my favorite artists, Mick Jenkins, the Circus EP. Um, I really enjoyed this EP from Mick Jenkins. Um, I did not, I was not crazy about... Uh, the last project he dropped uh, last year, Pieces of a Man, it just didn't hit me like I wanted it to. It just really seemed, I, like, it seemed kind of lazy for Mick Jenkins. You know, Mick Jenkins is, I, I, I put him up there, one of the one of the better lyricists coming out in the in the in this new in this new hip hop age. You know, super underrated artist, super dope rapper, super dope lyricist. His his flow is incredible. His word plays are insane. Um, he is a dope rapper. And if you do not listen to Mick Jenkins, you need to be listening to Mick Jenkins because that man is dope. However, I was not impressed by his last project. However, the however though, see I switched that up. This project, the Circus EP, is definitely what I want to hear from Mick Jenkins when it comes to what, what he's doing. Um, this project, only at seven songs, kind of gives you a, a full scope of what he can do as an artist from top to bottom. Lyrically, um, impressive, an, an impressive bout of wordplay, flow, creativity, catchy hooks. Like, he just really just kind of instills the whole package of what it means to be an artist. And it's, it's just awesome. Um, and it's not long. It's not it, it's not long at all. Only a seven songs. I think it's about 15, 20 minutes worth of listening. Like, it goes by pretty quickly, but the songs really kind of, their songs really hit. And, and that's what I really appreciate about Mick Jenkins. Could it have been longer? Sure. I'm sh I, I would have liked more songs, but I'm not mad. I do feel like seven songs are perfect to kind of dip your toe back into the game. Again, after what I feel was kind of a disappointing project, I think Mick kind of had to kind of regroup himself. In my personal opinion, Mick kind of had to regroup himself. Of course, he was just recently married as well, um, or recently engaged, so congratulations on that. I just felt like that, that project was not his best foot forward. And I feel like going, coming into the new year, I think this was a great way to kind of just ease back in there. You give seven songs of dope lyricism. You satiate your fans. You give them a little something right now. Because I feel like in my in my heart of hearts, I feel like there's a bigger project coming in sometime next year. Uh, not next year, sometime this year. I do feel like um, Mick is planning to gear up to drop another full-length project uh, sometime this year. And this is just kind of a taste. And if this be the case, I hope it's just a theory. I have nothing to back this up, but if this be the case, I would love to hear this project if this is the route that he is going. Because, man, this, boy, this project was definitely something that I wanted to hear. One of the best ways to start off 2020. So, um, definitely on first listen, uh, the Circus EP by Mick Jenkins. I'm going to four. I'm, I'm hitting straight to the four. I probably could do, uh, you know, 4.25. We can, we can get up there. You know, we can get up there for sure. But, um, awesome project. I do appreciate it. Could have been longer. Sure. Um, but I'm not mad at where it is right now. So, um, yeah, y'all need to listen. McJenkins is nasty. Last but not least, this one actually was kind of a surprise, honestly, but, um, we have the, the new, I don't think it's an EP. I don't know what kind, I guess it's like a, a, a sample platter. I don't know what you'll call it. Uh, Three Joints by Redman, OG Redman. Um, he dropped a, a, a three song e, uh, EP. I guess I'm gonna call it the EP. I don't think that's what he's showing it as. He's not pushing as EP. I think it's just a project with three songs on it. Um, it's okay. Uh, personally, I wasn't completely in, enthralled in the project. He starts it off really solid with sampling his own song, The Rockweiler, on the first song of Banga. And 
it's dope. I like the I like the sample. I like the flip. And of course, Red Man lyrically being as gifted as he is does what Red Man does. But the other two songs are just are just cool. Like I mean, the songs are something that I personally wouldn't go back to uh, listening, but. I think it's a it's a nice reminder to let you to kind of remind people like Red Man really be out here spitting. So I think that was really wasn't for anything but remind you that Red Man is out here. He's still rapping. He's still most likely rapping better than your favorite rapper. So um, this project only y'all going off three songs. If I had to go off first listen, you know I give it a three. I just gotta give it a three three point five out of respect for Red Man because again, um, this is not meant to. I don't think it's really meant to be like something that's in super rotation but i think you know people will find some form of enjoyment out of these songs you'll put it in your personal playlist if you really like it i think he still carries that uh that that typical red man charisma that you know you always love and appreciate from him so um it's a it's a solid it's a solid three song project if that's what you want to call it out of three songs it's kind of hard to judge something off three songs but if i had to i get i'd probably give it a three 3.5 you know gotta give respect to where it's due and that's gonna bring an end to our first fresh drop friday guys it's so it's so crazy to 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 know that we've been able to do this consistently for about what like four or five weeks other than the week that we took off last week because literally nothing dropped that was not my fault that was not my fault guys no that was not my fault Nobody drop shit. I can't review stuff if nobody drops music. That's how this works. And y'all didn't send me no shit to review either. Y'all, I'm trying to listen to your music. It's crazy how y'all say people don't listen to your music and y'all don't send music to listen to. So I need y'all to do me a favor. If you want your music reviewed here on the Taj channel, I need y'all to do me a favor. You can either leave it, yeah, a comment on this video below. You can hit us up on Instagram at four, that's the number four, ever, E-V-E-R, dot Taj, T-A-J, on Instagram, send us a message on your music, or hit us up on Facebook at the Taj channel. Send us a message. We will listen to your music. We will review your music here on YouTube because we want y'all to get better. Like, we want y'all to have us get better. And I said, right? Like, we want y'all to want us to get better. Y'all know what the fuck I mean. Anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in. I hope Everybody had an incredible new year. I'm so excited for this year. We got so much more stuff coming because it's not just reviews we're trying to do. We got a whole bunch of other stuff slated to come through. But until then, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe and share, baby. Because you know how we rocking. Peace.